Today I want to talk about three different kinds of bulky bases that work great for E2, but not any other reactions. The first one is sodium terpetoxide, which can also be known as potassium terpetoxide, depending on what the counter ion is. And the counter ion is sodium or potassium, which essentially is just a spectator ion. And the next one is lithium diisopropyl amide. And the last one is DBU, also known as 1,8-diazobicyclo. 540 undecane. And these three work really well as bases and will often prefer to attack the least substituted hydrogen in order to produce an E2 reaction. And the reason why these two, all three of these bases work really well is that they're bulky and are hysterically hindered, and that's why. It's not a very good SN2 reaction, as well as the fact that there are weak nucleophiles because of that reason of steric hindrance. The mechanism of the E2 reaction is fairly straightforward, where if you have a certain carbocation, any one of these three bases will attack the beta. So this is the high alpha, and this would be the beta carbon, beta carbon, and beta carbon. And off of these beta carbons, there would be a hydrogen. And so the base would take off the H, thus forming a double bond on that certain carbon. And this is essentially the mechanism for all three of the bases.